So you got yourself a Dakota. You want to change your thermostat. Let's get into it super quick. So you got your upper rod hose going into the engine. Bam, down there. If we could just... Don't you just... We'll be back. So once you're done fucking with your light for 10 hours, you'll see in here you got this hose clamp for the hose, and you got the housing with one bolt, la la. And there's another one there. Take those out, take this off, pull out the thermostat, put in the new one. All right, let's do it. You're gonna need to stop dropping things everywhere. You're gonna need your thermostat. I got this fail-safe one, it's $4 on Rock Auto. I got the Felpro gasket for it. And then I also bought the replacement water neck, which comes with this gasket, but I mean, you, could, you know you could trust the Felpro. And this one, yeah, I just don't wanna risk it. It was like a dollar for that. So I got the good dollar one. And the thermostat, uh, the neck from Dorman is replacing this. See how looking rusted and metal and yucky that is. We don't want any of that. So what you're gonna need is those. Here you're gonna need some pliers and a 13 mil to get everything off. And then I am also going to use a screwdriver to get off most of the gunk around these bolts because right now they almost don't even look like bolts. So we're going to need to clean those up so we can get our wrench on it and hopefully not break them. Spray the crap out of it with WD-40 and then pull this off, put the new one in, bing, bang, boom. Alrighty, so I was able to use these pliers to come in, pull that clamp up from down there. Next, we're gonna pull the hose off, get ready to get coolant everywhere. So I got this paper towel to shove in there. I got a drain thingy down there to catch any stuff that falls because I'm not gonna drain all my coolant. We're just gonna do it the super easy way. All right, let's go. Well, here's why working on old cars sucks dick. So we got that out, but looky, looky, that top left bolt decided to snap its fucking head off, motherfucker. That one came out easy and fine. And look, it's pretty yucky in there. It's gross looking. Definitely needed to be done. There's a bunch of RTV under this old one. And, you know, yeah, it needed to be done. But uh, worth snapping a bolt off? No. So fuck me. What do we do now? <sighs> All right, so update on the snap bolt. I uh, just decided to go ahead and drill it out. Oh, my God, that is horrendously. Okay. Ooh. So we drilled it out. Uh, with drills and extractors, and then we used a tap and die kit to re-thread it, tested the bolt so it works, so I just need to pick up a new bolt from the dealership tomorrow, and then we can turn this 30 minute deal into a 4 day deal and just finally be done with it and get it out of my life and be happy to have a car that warms up properly, yay! Oh, we also broke the temperature sending sensor trying to unplug it, yay! So, good news is lots of new parts, bad news is bye bye money. Okay, so it's like day three of this install now, but here we go. We got our new uh, new engine coolant temperature sensor. We got our new bolt. We got everything in here ready to go. That's threaded. We're going to put the sensor in there, put it back together, and oh my god, be done with this nightmare of a thermostat install. Alrighty, so we used our 13 millimeter half inch freaking wrench there to Put that in nice and hand snug. This one here too, bolts in, bolts in. And then it feels tighter than ever. You can see it's lined up, new thermostats in there. Just gonna let it sit for about an hour or more so that it can dry the gasket maker that we put on there and then be good to put it together and finally this will be good to go. And then, you know, hopefully this actually fixes my issue of getting up to temperature slowly because that was the issue that I was having originally so yay you asked me to bring that guacamole to the party I'll say no no if you Bring the guacamole to the party I said no, no, no That shit's too expensive